Hi, so we're with Josh Beach. And John. And John. And John. And John. <laughs> and Josh Beach and the Johns. Okay, so to start off with, so you were doing a music video in Manchester yesterday, how did that go? Uh, yeah, it was good. We had a lot of fun. It was really busy um, because we had it, like, part one of the part was a gig. Yeah. And then the other bit was in the studio. And then there was like a weird bit of me like walking down the street. And, getting you know I mean? getting mad. Yeah. So, <laughs> so you invite a lot of people just to be kind of part of the gig? Um, that, that, we spoke about that because we were kind of sad actually that like some of our friends couldn't be in it because it was in Manchester and yeah. we don't really know anything. Oh, yeah. But we made friends and now they're in it. So. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Um, so you do um, a lot of tours obviously around the country, so well, you've been to obviously America and places like Paris, yeah. so what's your favourite, like what's the best reception you've had from Italy? Does it depend yeah, on Yeah, Milan Italy? was insane. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, it was just, what was it, 500 person yeah. capacity yeah. venue, it was about 600 people yeah. there. Yes. Um, just really good reception there. Crazy, the signing stuff for about an hour and a half after. Yeah. You've got a big fan base over there as well. I think Italy's like, probably... Our strongest group of fans. Yeah, I would say. Yeah, definitely. I don't know, but then saying that Manchester was actually yeah, yeah, that was a good insane. Well. well, not as many people. It was still packed, but we had like um, Johnny from the Smiths came down and watched us, which was like yeah. a massive honour. Yeah, yeah, and and then uh, there was like a crowd invasion, and everybody was like yeah, Johnny like twenty on stage. babies on the stage. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it was cool. Oh, and does music run in your family? Or is it, where do you get into it? Yeah, well, it does with jo John's dad's Paul McCartney, so. What? <laughs> 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 it doesn't know. Oh, shit. Uh, no, not really. Well, my brother was a singer. So, I guess it does, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Skip to John, actually. My mum and dad don't come very music. They try. Oh, okay. so, Shower. <laughs> And you've done that snitch before. Um, yeah. How would you say the sound compares now to before? Because it seems like quite like folk rock. That's yeah, a, it's, it's, it's a good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> very, very different. John was actually in snitch as well. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Did you see the original From from snitch, yeah. I mean, obviously, this started on my own, and then when I wanted to build it up into a band, I always knew that I'd want John on drums because he's such a good drummer. And then there's another John who actually isn't here. But we could pretend he's here. Jack, do you want to just stand here? And pretend he's here? <laughs> Come here, mate. You're no big into with Jay. Come on, Jack. Come on, Jack. Jack's Jack. 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 All right, well, Jack. Well, so, yeah, there's another John. But this, um, so we're both in Snitch, and it's obviously totally different. Yeah. What kind of sound was that? A snitch was like rocky, punky, crunchy. <laughs> so very good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was like heavy, energetic music. Is the audience is quite different as well to what you totally then? Totally What is it like now? Um, I mean, with Snish, it was it was a big mix of boys and girls. Actually, probably more boys, really, wasn't it? Yeah, got into yeah. the music. And now this is like loads of girls. Love it. Is <laughs> your model all the girls? Oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of acoustic sound. That's what kind of you're going for. Yeah, I think so. I think it just it was a long time ago when we did Snitch. We were a lot yeah. younger and it. it was more what I listened to then. And now I'm sort of chilling out a little bit. I'm writing songs which are, are real as opposed to singing about weird shit that we used to sing about in Snitch. Where did your musical influences come from? Um, I mean, I'm into lots of different things from like Bryce to John Mayer to the Beatles. We, we all love the Beatles. Yeah, recently Mumford and Sons. Yeah, Mumford and yeah. Sons and Good One. Yeah. Um, Johnny Cash, Jeff Buckley. Yeah, it's kind of that sort of sound of the little yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think if anything, we probably listen to those bands. I listen to them less now, so that I don't take too much influence from yeah. them. Yeah. But they're definitely bands I've sort of grown up listening to. Oh, cool. You got your new band, Hilda May? Is that right? Yeah, I was in a band, Hilda May. That was more of a gap filler. Okay. Um, once we stopped doing Snish because um, our bassist went mad or whatever, <laughs> um, he basically had like some issues with him. and uh, so we were like gave him a break and then we decided not to do it anymore. And the Hilda May guys had toured with us and, and played with us a lot, so and then he just lost a vocalist and I was like, well, I'll fill in. And ended up doing it for about a year, and then they got approached to be signed and. I 
didn't really want to take the next step with them as it wasn't something yeah. that I was really yeah. into. So I mm -hmm. was just started doing my own stuff. And did you play guitar before you sang, or was it kind of mm, Yeah, I was playing guitar when I was younger, and I stopped for ages. And then I came into singing because of school. I was like, did drama and stuff, and had to sing at school a little bit when I was like 16. And then John was like, oh, that dude can sing and get him in a band because he'd started a band. Yeah. Ashley, who's standing over there. And they were like, let's get Josh in. And I'd never sung or played guitar in a band oh. at all. And yeah. we started a Big 182 covers band. Yeah. And we were like, What's that called? How'd you spell it? Cacophony. That's it. I didn't yeah. want to say it because I was like, Cacophony. Cacophony. Ashley, do you have anything to say about that? Absolutely not. Come and have an interview, John. Come on, mate. So step, come on, there he is. <laughs> He's going to take the place of John today. The other John. This is Ashley. <laughs> but he was hey. in, yeah. So now it's like a company interview. Mm. That was yeah. fun. If you think my name too comes. We'll be fooled. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Doing a comeback tour. How long ago was that? Quite a while ago, then. Um, nine yeah, we're nine years. 15? Yeah, uh, nine years. We play at Disneyland. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, I forgot that. School trip, but we still play. <laughs> 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 and um, <laughs> with your modelling, I read you were discovered in Shoreditch. Yeah. How did that happen? Uh, I was at a festival um, in Shoreditch, and Cheryl Smith, who's my book and I went to me and asked if I was a model, and I said no. And that was it, really. And then she took my number, and then I kind of ignored it for about four months because I didn't really want to do it. Yeah. So like, you should just go in. Yeah. Why have you not thought about modelling before? Not really. I've been asked a couple of times at different things when I was younger, but it wasn't really something that I really yeah. loved doing. Was that just stuff. music as well? Was more... I just didn't really know enough about it. I, I guess yeah. I thought it was going to be completely different to what it actually is and really gay. Yeah. Um, not that I have anything against gays, obviously. So, <laughs> but um, I just thought, no, I'm a punk here, I don't want to fucking do that, blah, blah, blah. And now uh, I'm just great. Yeah. See you around the world, pay some rent. Nice. Do you find that a lot of people know you kind of more as a model musician, or is it kind of... Over the last couple of months, it's, it's actually changed a lot. Since we've been touring, we get a lot more people like in Manchester, there are people coming up, and even who hadn't been to the gig, who just saw us in a random bar, like, oh, you're from Josh Beach and Josh Beach and the Jones, and... Oh, that's, that must be good. Yeah, it's, it's, cool. it's nice to that. be, yeah, it's cool. Obviously, so you really, like, music's your first love, so that must be... Really yeah, yeah, yeah. Too. I think I would, it just takes time, doesn't it? For yeah. Mm. But it's good to associate the two together. Yeah, I guess one promotes the other as well. Yeah, definitely. They help each other out. And it's a very close industry to each other. Mm. Yeah. They really are mixed up a lot, so. Um, it's cool. You've done quite a lot of modelling campaigns for like Burberry and Levi's and stuff. What's been yeah. your favourite you've got? Um, Levi's was obviously really good, and I did that for like two years, so that was great. Burberry was my first job. That I ever did, so that was a bit scary. Mm. Um, so yeah, I'd say Levi's was, was good. What else did I do recently that was really fun? Uh, yeah, all fun, yeah. all good. I did a job actually once in uh, Morocco, that was good. Who was that with? Uh, I think it was like a magazine. But that was yeah. good because it's like we went out into like the desert. We had to sleep in the desert. We stayed in Jimi Hendrix. Old house there, but he went really? past Tim Sand, yeah, so that was like great. Was that, what was that house like? Did you know this? I mean, I, did, I mean, he didn't have a lot of stuff in it, but he but stayed there, so it felt great. Sure Actually, became a lot of yeah, yeah, carpet. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a, a favourite fashion designer kind of from doing modelling? Someone you worked with? or? Yeah, I truly like uh, Will, who's the, the head designer at, uh, at All Saints. I think he's probably one of my favourite because he's really like turned that brand around and made it a lot more edgy. Mm. His clothes are really wearable, so I, I don't no, know. I, I'd love to say like yeah, something like huge. I like, there's loads of people I've worked for. Like, yeah. I think well, that's really cool. Um, you must be so many really different, like, obviously, fashion designers and different people to work for. Yeah, Galliano, he, he's a cool dude. He's doing some cool wacky. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it's good, and all the people at Moschino are really nice. And there's so many, so many great people out there. But I think just Will is the clothes that he that he designs. I would wear. Yeah. Mm. Like, do you get much freebies and stuff? Um, we do as a band. Yeah. Because they because of wearing. Yeah. Jokes and stuff. Right in we get some stuff sometimes, and as long as we like mention them in an interview or something, we'll wear it. What's that? Like the 
the best. Like yeah. this. Yeah. It's totally like this. There you go. Is that why? Yeah. Drop dead is my friend's uh, uh -huh. company. Uh -huh. Drop Rage dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got quite a lot of tattoos. Have they been a bonus in modelling, would you say? I don't know. I get asked that a lot, but uh, I don't know. I think possibly, but then maybe yeah. not, I might have done completely different. I guess it depends on what you're doing. Yeah, I think it might, it, it could be restricting as I get older. Yeah. But, but then if you want I mean, to I'm just who I am, yeah, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Just put this on, like that. <laughs> right. So is there um, anything in your career that like, you haven't done yet that you'd really like to do? Obviously you've done the model thing, you're kind of working on that musician thing. Um, is there anything else that you have interest in? Be an astronaut. <laughs> I'm working on that at the moment. How's that going for you? It's good, yeah. Cool. Yeah, in training at the moment, yeah? Yeah, I'm in training. Cool. I'm going to learn to fly. I'll be a pilot, actually. That'd be good. Fly myself everywhere. <laughs> we'll say that pilot. Are there any um, venues that you really want to play at in yeah. Uh, Yeah, loads. I think to support some of the Brixton Academy would be cool, just because yeah. I've seen so many bands, yeah. so many of my favourite bands there. Yeah. That to play on that stage would be fucking awesome. Do you prefer playing bigger venues like that, or kind of? No, I much prefer it? small gigs. Better like, atmosphere. Yeah. Do you prefer no, kind of intimate, kind of. I like it intimate. Yeah. I love it intimate. Intimate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I prefer smaller gigs, but if we could do Brixton Academy, that would be. That so, would be cool. Yeah. yeah. And is there any musicians at the moment that you like? Some Woodford and Sons? Yeah, um, Bombay Bicycle Club. They're good, they're yeah. Really, That's all that. really, they're really good. No, who else is? Bon Iver. Yeah. Um, not really into the new job now, so. Who else is that new? There's someone new. These new Puritans, I think they're great. They're the new radio. They're really the new radio. And the enemy, I've just said they were the, had the best album of last year, so. I think these new Puritans, what they're doing is really different, yeah. no one's really done it before. It's cool. What's their sound like? It's like Radiohead. It's like it doesn't really sound like Radiohead, but I, they get com compared to them a lot with the, the use of electronics and with a rocky edge. So. Is there like, any bands or anyone you want to collaborate with as a band, or would you rather just stay just you? Um, yeah, I'd like to, I'd like to uh, do a collaboration with a, with a female artist. Yeah. Siobhan Sings. Alright, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> cool, and what about 2011? Have you got, what are your plans? Is it maybe to tour? Or is um, it more music focused, 2011? Yeah, I think it's to, to write and record, or finish writing and record an album, which is the plan for the summer really. And then yeah, just tour as much as we can, tour the album, once we finish touring the CP. Any places in particular, or is it like just everywhere? I think pretty much everywhere. Everywhere? Yeah. I've heard Japan, they have quite crazy family stuff. Before. Japan, yeah, I think Japan's on the cards anyway, for sure, cool. definitely. Yeah. Um, Europe is happening in like April, May. We're going to America in two weeks. Cool. So we're getting it all kind of covered. Yeah. We're trying, like, for people who watch this to say, oh, you never come play here. We are trying, it's not up to us. It's, yeah. We try to play as many places as we can. We want to play everywhere. So. You make yourself easy everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we did. Okay. Do the world. Well, at all. <laughs> cool. So yeah, I think that's pretty much a wrap. But yeah, thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice thank to meet you. Very much. Thank you. And hopefully you guys well tonight. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you.